Welcome to the Joy of Music Television Network. Welcome to the Joy of Music, featuring Diane Bish. Today, bringing you a special presentation of The Carols of Christmas, with special guest, the South Florida Symphony Brass Ensemble. Now, Miss Diane Big. Merry Christmas. I'd like to welcome you all here this afternoon to a concert of 
favorite carols of Christmas. There are so many things to remember about Christmas. We can all remember back to our childhood, all the many things that happened to us on Christmas Day, and the wonderful gifts that we have received. And during the concert today, we're going to be talking about these gifts. We always give gifts at Christmas, but certainly the greatest gift that has ever been given to anyone is the gift of Jesus Christ to us. And that is what this concert is all about, the gift of God to each one of us, Jesus Christ. So as we listen to the carols and we hear their words, let's remember that it is this gift that makes true life possible. Now we go back to the days of Johann Sebastian Bach. And of course, Bach had carols in his day also. Uh, some of them are still sung today. Some of them are not so well known, but we're going to hear two carols or chorales of Bach, which are harmonized by Bach. The first is Break Forth, O Beauteous Heavenly Light. And the second is O Dearest Jesus. This is with brass and organ.
We have a special guest on the program this afternoon. I am not sure it's a musical guest, but uh, it is a guest. And so if you will excuse me for one moment. Well, you know, there are many wonderful gifts that we get at Christmas time. And uh, one of the gifts, of course, there are children, and uh, uh, our parents are a gift, and our sisters and brothers. And then, of course, there are little dogs. And this happens to be a gift of about nine weeks old. And uh, her name is Shanti, which means singer in French. Because when she was young, uh, younger than she is now, she used to sing. This is her first stage appearance, and she's very nervous. Uh, but I used to have a friend in Atlanta that had a dog, and whenever she played a certain Christmas piece, the dog would sing. And so I thought today, although uh, her name is Shanti and she's a singer and she does sing at home, uh, I didn't know if she would have stage fright or not. I thought I would bring her to the stage and see if she would sing while I play. So uh, we'll see. She does have a new Christmas outfit. And we don't know what she'll do, and we hope that she does the right thing. It's a good thing that piece didn't have a lot of pedal in it. But you know, she didn't sing, but she did do what only an organist dog would do, and that is get on the pedals. So I think we better say goodbye to Shanti and hope that next year she'll do a little better.
Well, <clears throat> I've written a new composition, not really new, but it's just a new arrangement of Joy to the World. And it's short, but it really uses the organ and the trumpets of the organ. had the gift of music this afternoon, we've had the gift of a little doggy that can't sing <laughs> and walks on the pedals, and uh, we've had the gift of many Christmases past and parents and family and friends, but again, most of all, we have the gift of Christ, and uh, it's a very joyful gift, joyful and peaceful. and. I always wish that Christmas could be all year long. There always used, used to be and still is a wonderful feeling of peace and joy and warmth at Christmas. And uh, uh, I learned that one of the ways it can be all year long is to know Christ and know him in a personal way. It's that warmth and joy that comes at Christmas that is brought to a life by Christ himself. And so I wish you all a Merry Christmas and do hope that in your heart that you really know the Christ of Christmas. We would like to end the concert with my favorite carol, O Come All Ye Faithful. We're going to play two stanzas of it. <laughs> 